Good day, my people. Welcome back to your boy, Gear Adam Slink. I hope you're on a day okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Let's discuss about Yahya Bello and also Very Dark Man versus uh, Pastor Jeremiah. The matter still they go on, and Very Dark Man just gave us an update. But firstly, let us talk about the issue between EFCC and Yahya Bello. So it goes like this Yesterday, when we Nigerians were relaxing, we don't even forget about anything that has to do with Yahya Bello. You understand? Yahya Bello now, former Kogi state governor, who apparently misappropriated money amounting to more than 80 billion naira, and EFCC wanted him. They already declared him wanted. But Yahya Bello said, ah, you know, go meet EFCC for anywhere. Say, so may they carry the case, come Kogi state. Can you imagine? Eh? A past governor, the detect to the justice and the, the Nigeria security say, no, I'm going to carry and I hear it they're comfortable for me to answer the case. Can you imagine, guys? But then again, after many months, many weeks of totally forgetting about anything that has to do with Yaya Bello by Nigerians who are currently crying over hunger, fuel scarcity, and so many other things in our lives, boom, Yaya Bello might have come out yesterday again. Yaya Bello, according to the media, Willingly, willingly, with uh, the help of the current Kogi State Governor, visited willingly EMCC uh, head office in Abuja. And there are videos, photos to back it up. That is him, and that is uh, Ado. I think the current uh, governor of uh, Kogi State is uh, Ado, Ado do something like that. So they willingly visited that office. Just in case you are, you know, believe if they are actually visiting. That is the big video, and that is EFCC office, that is uh, Ado, and that is Yaya Belo there, and they, they approach the office. And the able to, I don't know whether they enter or they no enter. But how, okay, let us just assume say Yaya Bello no enter office. How person me when I do declare wanted? Do guy come head of head of an office with security look, can't go back to his side motor. Just in case, so let us just agree, say they no, the guy no agree enter that office. So the whole matter was that media were reporting that. Yaya Bello visited EFCC office willingly to answer questions concerning the allegation leveled against him. Few minutes later, EFCC said they arrested Yaya Bello. That Yaya Bello didn't willingly turn himself in. Then we saw Yaya Bello leaving. Pictures were there to actually prove that he kind of like acted as if he was leaving that place, leaving that EFCC. Then, boom, few minutes uh, later, this was the official report. EFCC press release. Yaya Bello is not in EFCC custody. Media report that, that a former governor of Kogi State, Mr. Yaya Bello, is in the holding facility of the Economy and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, is incorrect. The commission wished to state that Bello is not in its custody. Bello, already declared wanted by the commission for alleged 80.2 billion money laundry charges, remain wanted, wanted with a subsisting with a subsisting warrant for his arrest. Meanwhile, Yaya Bello visits our office. Or let's say no visit to our office. Yaya Bello comes in our office. In our office gate with cameras and everything showing that he came there. I've been a Yaya Bello, they play caricature, or Yaya Bello and EFCC, they play go 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 with each other. <laughs> well, Yaya Bello come there, but this is not the declare person wanted. How person go bold with boldness, walk and close on our office. Now, yesterday again, it was reported that Yaya Bello 
was uh, in uh, Kogi State House in Abuja. And the FCC immediately, there is one action movie that played out. They show EFCC camera and some people just they run for the neighborhood. I don't know. They said shoot shot fire as EFCC agent tried to arrest former Kogi State Governor last night in Abuja. So tell me, it, as I explain this thing to you, I bet say you know if you understand that because me, I know if you understand what it played out yesterday. If somebody explained this to me the way I'm explaining it, like if I say I'm for news, me, I don't go understand. I come in our office, I leave you in our office, you now declare me wanted again, you now carry police, they find me in the night. How does that even make sense? Me, I don't go understandable. If my child come to explain this thing to me, I can slap that child. I say, are you, you go to school at all? What are you talking about? But that is exactly how it happened yesterday concerning the Ayabelo. Now, the Ayabelo is wanted again. The Ayabelo may come to EFCC, EFCC yesterday to answer a question. Apparently came to EFCC to answer a question. Mind you, the Ayabelo get police escort. Mind you, Kogi no get, Kogi no get airport for the Ayabelo to fly. Now, road did they use? And police and every security agency, they wrote, oh, they're just a joke with us. <laughs> well, let us forget about that. I beg, I beg, I beg. We could forget about that, but uh, maybe they do go, 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 go with us. I beg. Maybe we still go back to our fire and our hunger and so many other things. Maybe they, uh, they, they bother us. Then again, let's talk about a very dark man, Pastor Jeremiah. Let's listen to the updates from very dark man concerning Pastor Jeremiah and how they invited him to come and answer questions in Delta State. So, one police station in Delta State sent me invitation, say make I come Delta State in respect of Prophet Jeremiah Motofufein, say make I come answer them question. What audacity, what disrespect to the Nigerian courts that said we should operate in a status quo, that we should maintain status quo. So you people believe yourself in that data, the station where send that to you believe that I will bring myself to data state when the court says we should maintain status quo. Which audacity is that? For what? I will even come to that data state. Nobody will do anything. When I'm for that station, I know if you touch me. Me and Prophet Jeremiah, we are in courts. Do you understand? So every other thing is doing is on hold. Every other thing is on hold. And mind you again, I see head. Then they come in for another petition now where they say they don't attention, go IG, please. So, Delta State Police now, the police station, man, no generalize Delta State Police. Because I guess some kind of policemen for there where we say, okay, yes, I respect them. Let me not generalize. So, this particular station now, are you bigger than the IG's office? Are you bigger than the IG's office? Or are you bigger, is your station bigger than the station that's under in Abuja? Mm -hmm. That's another thing again. Prophet Jeremiah and all in boys say, you people should better respect yourself. You understand? You people did not expect it to get like this. You think now one person now just carry, you go to for one corner, one now just to inside bush. Maybe now you do that before. One now not trying with me. You. you go go that court. You see those healing, you go do them. When I go do them, I buy products, I use them. I won't heal, I don't heal. What I expect from the product, I did not get it. I am suffering. I want to cure myself from suffering. They say healing what I want to heal myself from poverty. I am still not there yet. I was so hoping that when I use this product, I will become dangote. I did not become dangote. The audacity. So you don't respect the court? You will learn. And you will learn the hard way. Don't play. So let us be honest there. Eh? Pastor Jeremiah has uh, lost woefully. And is afraid. You know, this is just typical Nigeria way of operating. All those kind of things here are hard to explain to somebody who comes from a very well-organized country. That person will never understand it. This is exactly what happened in zoo. Eh? Make we, human beings, go to talk say, oh, all those from a zoo, they're there now. Na, na, na bush, so we understand them. You are in court. Now you go see the submit another petition for another station for the same Nigeria. Ah, 
Now you know Greek Corn Court early, the last sitting. You say, your lawyer say they sick. Ah! Now you carry person go court. <laughs> I don't want to start this kind of thing before. Now you carry person go court. You make carry person go court. You never feel defend yourself. Now you carry person go court. You make carry person go court. One of the institute of uh, the government, may you go the report to, they invite you. You know if you go respond. That is a NAVDAC. NAVDAC they release a statement, say your product are fake. You say NAVDAC no get the spiritual backing to tell you say your product are fake. Then why are you going to court that doesn't have any spiritual judgment? Why are you going to the police that doesn't have any spiritual judgment? That's the question. I never see like this guy. This is humiliation, honestly. Humiliation to the highest order. This man, I don't understand this whole thing. A justice, matter they already they caught. You call see they report the same matter to another police. Ah, uh -uh. ah. Shit. This is, I don't understand. That means very dark man can just talk then now. Uh. That one, they say, no, they uh, talk about Pastor Jeremiah. Uh, the man already break the status quo. He can talk any I want because you, you don't respect court. In fact, you don't respect the, the Nigeria police here. May they handle the case. The head office, oh, head office oh, of head, oh, you say that branch, one small station, now you get the authority to handle the matter way more better. You know, they invite person. Okay, now, you know what you guys will do? Why not send police from Delta State? May they go arrest very dark man here. Carry and go Delta State. And this is what they told say May they give a, a state and police. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. They finish us. They finish us for this country. Well, thank you guys for watching the boy Adam's link. Catch you next time.